Welcome to the future of photo organizing, where artificial intelligence is going to help us sort through all of our photos and find that perfect family memory before we can say cheese. Does this sound too good to be true? Well, my friends, it is time to learn what artificial intelligence can do in helping us save our family memories. Hi, I'm Molly Bartelt, owner of Pixology, where we've been helping people organize their photos for almost 10 years. I've always said that technology has far surpassed our ability to keep up with it, and now we have to think about artificial intelligence. You're actually probably using it already if you have an Android phone or an iPhone. Do you need some motivation, inspiration, or education to keep on top of managing your family photos? Click the subscribe and the bell so that you're alerted when I upload new videos to keep you on top of your photo organizing game. Our agenda today is this. We're going to talk about four AI concepts I think you should know a little bit about. And then we're going to talk about how we can use AI with working with our photos. Then we're going to look at programs that use artificial intelligence. Lastly, we'll talk about the pros and cons, and we'll wrap up and get you on your way with the day. You are definitely going to want to stay till the end because I'm going to show you how artificial intelligence can write us a poem about the challenges of organizing photos. All right, artificial intelligence, concepts that you need to know. The first is just a general definition of artificial intelligence. AI refers to the development of computer systems that can perform tasks that typically require human intelligence. There are many, many types of artificial intelligence. I'm going to just talk about a few things that I think you should know about. One type of artificial intelligence is called deep learning. My Heritage uses deep learning for its photo repair services. Deep learning is based on neural networks, which are modeled after the human brain. It uses large amounts of data and it recognizes patterns and makes predictions based on that data. And the more a program works with the data, the more it's learning and it's creating more patterns in the future. So photo repair is just going to get better and better when people use a deep learning service like MyHeritage's photo repair. The next concept is deep fakes. People use artificial intelligence to create doctored images or videos of other people doing or saying something that they never did. This made the news a few months ago when the headline broke that the Pope was wearing a puffer coat. It was a really cool image, but turns out it was a deep fake. This is why people are concerned about artificial intelligence because it can be put to not good use and potentially hurt people's reputations. So we want to be aware of it. <laughs> Lastly, I want to tell you about ChatGPT. ChatGPT is actually a product. It is created by OpenAI and it is a chatbot where you can actually talk with it and get answers to your questions and even create essays and more. It uses something called natural language processing and machine learning algorithms to simulate human-like conversation with users. I'm so glad that my kids are almost out of high school because uh, I think ChatGPT is probably writing a lot of people's term papers. Don't forget to stay to the end because I'm going to show you how ChatGPT works in writing us a poem. There are many uses of artificial intelligence with photos. You can edit your pictures with photo editing technology that is artificial intelligence based. I remember a few years ago seeing this for the first time with Adobe Photoshop Elements and their Sensei uh, add-on to their products. Look at all the different things that can be done with pictures and you're letting your computer and its artificial intelligence do the work for you. 
A lot of photo management programs say that they are organizing your pictures with artificial intelligence based on the date taken or location or even smart tags. You can definitely search by uh, topics with artificial intelligence. So if you have an Android phone or an iPhone, just go to your photos app and type in a topic and see what comes up. I'm actually curious if you have ever done this already, put a comment, yes or no, down below. It's really cool to see this, you know, the sunrises all come up or all the photos of dogs come up. And that is a really nice feature that artificial intelligence brings us. Kind of related, AI also is how facial recognition works in these programs. So you have faces that you might have identified already and the program looks for other faces that have similar features. And as you confirm more faces to that person, the program's learning more. So you can actually have a, a person kind of growing through the years and the AI, the artificial intelligence is recognizing that person through the years. It's, it's kind of interesting to watch. I'm just showing you a clip here from Mylio and it's facial recognition. And you can see how I'm confirming faces and that leads the program to suggest more because we're feeding the program more data about what faces look like in different positions and that sort of thing. The last use I wanna tell you about is really another cool one, uh, but some people might think it's creepy. Animating photos is now a thing, all right? And my heritage, I saw it first with them, and you can see my grandma turning her head in different expressions and raising her eyebrows. And, and this again is more of that deep learning software working that my heritage has. It has analyzed thousands, probably millions of you know moving faces. So it recognizes patterns and how people look, and that's how it's producing raised eyebrows or a smile or you know other facial expressions that are are common. All right, we've covered a lot. Are you finding this really helpful? Hit the like button because it'll help more people get the information too. Many photo management programs already have some of these artificial intelligence features. I like to divide the programs up into two camps. One would be the big tech companies like Google, Google Photos, and Apple Photos, as well as Amazon Photos. When you upload your pictures into these cloud services or use them on your phone, the artificial intelligence works great. You can search by these topics and, and by faces, and it's it really is kind of cool. I do have concerns with all of my family photos being in a big tech company, they have access to so much about your life. I mean, we're taking pictures of the things that we love, we're interested in, even the food that we eat. So it tells a lot. We're giving these big tech companies a lot of information. On the other side, we have photo management programs that are installed on your computer. And I like these because you like own the software, your pictures are on your computer and your information is private. The problem is, is that these programs are complex and they require you to use them routinely to remember what you are doing, how to do it and to keep up. I often find that people import all of their pictures into the programs and then work on it for a few months go on vacation, have a family event, and then they forget about their pictures in the program for six months, a year, three years. And when they come back, now they have a bigger mess that they have to figure out. We prefer to save our photos in folders on our computer, generally in chronological order, and then we upload those to forever, uh, the permanent cloud storage that I've talked about before. And if you want to know more about it, you can watch that video up there. The pros and cons of using artificial intelligence when working with your pictures. It seems kind of funny to even list these because we're using it already. When you look at your photos on your iPhone, it's actually putting a, a paw print on your pet pictures. And when you click on that, it takes you to information about that dog's breed or other things that are related. And we can't stop that technology from just rolling through and we have to keep up. But 
When thinking about artificial intelligence as a tool, there are a couple pros. Editing pictures for sure is a lot easier using the, the quick click, the magically make my photo appear better feature that so many uh, programs have. And searching is fantastic when your program will look up sunsets or dogs, or, and I keep saying dogs because we have two of them, but whatever the topic is that you're interested in, it could be babies. You search for it and artificial intelligence brings the baby photos right there for you. Now, figuring out which baby is which, another problem. The cons of using artificial intelligence, well, I've already talked about privacy as being an issue. Occasionally, the AI will get something wrong, but I think we'll see less and less of that as the technology learns. The final thing that I would say is artificial intelligence currently has no ability to help you plan for passing your photos and your videos, your memories on to the future generation. You right now are still in control of that. And I don't see that changing, you know, in the near future. Who knows? But that's why, again, we recommend forever. When photos are saved in forever, it's easy to share them. And the company migrates your photos and videos and documents to the newest technology for your lifetime plus 100 years. AI is not there yet. All right, it is time to watch ChatGPT write us a poem about the challenges of photo organizing. So I just type it in the little chat line there and I hit return. And watch this, it's generating a poem in real time. It's so fast. And if I don't like it, I can click regenerate and it will try to write a better poem. I did it three times and it ends with, so let us cherish the moments we capture and not let the task of organizing them fracture. For though it may be a challenge, it's worth it in the end to have our memories and our hearts to mend. That is crazy. In 60 seconds, less than 60 seconds, it made three poems and it tried to make it better and better. That's what we're looking at. Artificial intelligence is going to keep coming and keep improving and hopefully it won't take over the world someday. All right, is this overwhelming? Are you just trying to figure out how to get started on your photos? I would love to chat with you. You can click the link in the description below to schedule a time and I'd love to learn about your photo organizing challenges. If you want to learn more about My Heritage's deep learning and deep nostalgia services, watch this video next. That's it for now. Thank you so much for joining me on this amazing topic. We will see you the next time.